Hello team, your squad leader is back from a really busy week, so today, we will be talking about earning some platinum, the fortune away. I will give you the basic things which will give you some platinum while doing some stuff in the new open world. In this video, I will detail what are the items in Fortuna that you can sell for platinum but be warned, some of the items that can be sold for a hefty amount of platinum actually takes time to get, so, don't just focus on this platinum guide alone, I have plenty of platinum making guides in this channel that you can check out, and you can just add this as another option, I will leave a playlist of those platinum making guide on the video description below, so be sure to check them out later. Ok, now let's begin this video. I may have featured bounties in the opening scene of this video but to tell you honestly, grinding for those new set mods right now are not worth it, as not all the time, you will get lucky to get one of these set mods. Normally, it would take several runs to get these set mods because of how low their drop rate is and, they don't sell that much, which is not cost effective if we consider our effort in grinding for those mods. In my case, I set aside Fortuna bounty mission right now when it comes to earning some platinum or even getting Solaris United standings fast, as there is a more efficient way of doing that. So instead of bounties, let's focus first on the new resources, and stuff available in Fortuna, first is earning some platinum with mining, there are two specific gems right now that you can sold for platinum, and those are Radiant Zodian and Marquis Thist, don't get me wrong, other minerals in Fortuna can also be sold for platinum but the thing is, we consider the rarity of an item here, this and Zodian are both found in blue minerals, so they are kind of rare and, most players, those who have platinum, prefer to buy it rather than roam around in Orb Valis seeking for these rare gems, just remember, the ones that can be sold are those polished gems, and not those raw minerals you have mined from Orb Valis, so, you would probably be farming for those standings first before you can get the Radiant Zodian and Marquis Thist, but don't worry, as it's really easy to farm Solaris standings. In fact, mining alone can max out the daily Solaris standing cap in just a few minutes every day. If you want to check out the best spots to mine, then I suggest you to check out my Fortuna mining guide later, which I will leave the link on the video description below. The second one is through fishing. Yes, you can get some platinum with servo fishes in Orb Valis, just remember, the ones that are sold are those servo fishes and not their unique parts and the hottest, or the most seek out parts of servo fishes right now are those Churamote and Synothid. Because of their a unique parts, these servo fishes are mostly located in waters inside a cave. Now there are 30 caves in Orb Valley Sand, if you don't want to explore them all, just to find a good spot to fish these mechanical water beings, then I suggest you to check out my servo fishing guide, the link is also on the video description below, and you can check it out later. Now I did tackle mining and fishing first, because you need Solaris standings to get those items that can sell for good amount of platinum, in fact, what I do is, mine to get that daily standing cap max every day, and then the rest will be for selling Radiant Zodian, if I get bored with mining, then I go fishing, anyway, I can also trade standing points for servo fishes, and the rest will either be sold to other players, or dismantle for unique parts, if you have enough Solaris standings, then try to get these Pax Arcanes which are basically for kit guns, right now, members of the squad are saying that Pax Bolt and Pax Seeker are worth the investment and, upon checking the Warframe market, it does cost a good amount of platinum, especially when it's fully ranked, just a little more grind and I can test these Arcanes for the kit guns, and sold some to platinum, but, if you are like me who can't afford these Arcane enhancements just yet, then I'll go over to the Vent Kids and sell some mods for the K drives. Vent Kids standings are also easy to max, and I have showcased how to do that in one of my videos. Link to that K drive video is also on the video description below. In my case, I can usually sell the Inertia Dampeners mod right now for some platinum, as it's kind of useful, especially when you want to max out your Vent Kids standings fast. But, that would change over time, as players will have access on these mods. One quick tip. Don't go purchase these stuff right after seeing this video, instead, try to go to the trade chat and see if they are potential buyers or, you can go to warframe.market, to see if there are players who are willing to buy these stuff. So that's it, I hope that you find this video informative, just like what I have said earlier, this is not the only way to gain platinum in the game. There are several methods, and this is just one of those methods. This platinum guide is more towards those who just started the game and have no access to several contents just yet, 
Venus are really easy to access early and, new players can farm these stuff easily, it would take some effort to do so, but it's totally worth the grind, don't forget to check out the other platinum making methods below and, please leave a like, if you find this video helpful, you can also subscribe to our channel if you want to see more informative Warframe videos, and lastly, you can join the squad via discord, and follow your squad leader on twitter, links are on the video description also, thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.